friend arrived. So I know everybody just loved my uh, commentary on Catholicism last episode. Now I don't actually know that because that episode hasn't come out yet because I'm pre-recording an ungodly number of episodes in preparation for the holiday season in which I will be spending a whopping four weeks sitting around doing jack shit with my family. Um, finally I get some ivory oil. Dear God, I have not been able to find any of this crap, and here it is, sitting in a storage room off to the side. That's that's really it. All right, find me one of them chemico. Okay. Okay. I'll have to get in there somehow. One of them benches. Find me one of them benches, huh? Rocket launch center. Surgical research. Okay. This seems like the kind of that my brother would be involved in. Ow. Why are these guys so good at with it, like not dying? There we go. Sheesh. They're freaking invincible. God, even the guy with the shield wasn't as like tough. I must say, I'm a bit impressed. Do I see? Oh, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Couldn't have walked out the way he came. Yeah, I guess he went through here then. This is why I've been jumping at the walls the whole time, by the way. I remembered this area, sort of. Hey, Elro! What's up, brother? Nissan? Oh. Hey. I forgot about your whole not having an arm thing. Royal, help him out, man! Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't get in that, man. Just let it go, you say? <laughs> no. Recent events have brought on a special considerations, and I will aid Robin in extracting you from this location. This may appear sinful. I should not attempt to prevent you from staying free of penicillins. Penicillins. Penicillin. He's not speaking. <laughs> well, I don't know about just lost his arm. It's been like weeks since he lost his arm. Oh well. Did you for once not interject? Whatever you've seen me do, it is a fraction of the power of mother. Well, that is, um, so concerning, since the only thing I've really seen you do is make the ground shake a little bit. Well, hmm. garbage. Well, this power built monuments. Her and her predecessor built City One with her powers alone. I genuinely want out. Ah, uh, well, that's okay. I'm going to end up there anyways, let's be honest. <laughs> the most positive... positive possible outcomes. Yeah, that would be a good idea, except... Oh, good! Now I have four freeloaders! I'm counting Robin in there. What a freeloader! Oh, hey, I can just walk up here. Um, now, is this any good for me? Probably not, but we're gonna find out for sure real dang soon, huh? I'm gonna guess no. Yeah, my f firm belief is that that is a no. I wonder if you can switch places with these guys. Probably not. I don't know why I actually think probably not, in all honesty. Hey, what's up, dude? Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Fleetfoot. I can finally get Fleetfoot, which is what I've been wanting the entire time. The entire time I've been playing this game, I wanted to have Fleet Foot. Now I finally have it, and I can't even equip it yet, but that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to do that once I get to a save statue. And then I suppose we're going to make our way to City 1. I'm assuming we have to use the uh, fun train. It'd be cool if we could go through doors. Impossible. Dear God. I'm just not going to worry about these guys. Ha ha! Sucker. I didn't know we could bounce on their heads. That's pretty epic. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I just actually have no way of going in either of these. Either of these. Any of these areas. Right this second. So I guess we'll just go back to the platform. But not before! I finally freaking 
put Fleet of Foot on, and I guess I'm gonna have Dodger on too, even though it doesn't really help me all that much, if I'm being honest. You'll see. I keep forgetting to do it. Like, it's honestly, it's not the greatest thing in the world, to be honest, but... Uh, I'm sure if I did remember it, it would be just so wonderful. This is, like, about as effective as the dodge roll and enter the gungeon, in that it's probably really good if I just actually knew how to use it effectively. Which I don't. Dang, we get the freaking Heimdall over here. The gatekeeper. Wacky society. At least it's green now. Very geometric trees, but hey, they're green. Aha! Blessings of the try. Open the gates for me! What do you mean? Who are you? <laughs> You're bringing with you a mechanic, a cripple, and someone I swear looks like one of the pirates. Well, anyways. You really don't remember one of the royal guys. <laughs> Everything is very popular. Wow. Okay. What the heck are you talking about? Just let him in. Okay. How about I display my powers? Oh! Mother's labeled him a sinner. What a shame. Oh well. Uh, all you kids are arrogant. Go somewhere else. I won't report you this time. I have this thing here to read. Really? Well. Oh well. <laughs> uh, some way to put that gatekeeper in his place and get us in? Oh, I can think of a way. I can think of a way. Ciao. Now I'm in his place. Actually, I guess that would be putting me in his place. Ha. 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 Anyways. Oh, boy. Yeah, this will be a fun one. Boy. Excuse me. Yeah, these are real fun times. Okay, very epic. Howdy, lady, how you doing? <laughs> Why don't you guys just replace him? Jeez. Oh, what a wonderful place. Um, yeah. I'm just not even gonna talk to all these people. Super weird. Hey! You're not wearing white. You're finally here at City One. Very cool. Okay. Nice. I'm glad that there's like safe living in jazz. Well! We made it, guys! We got to City One! Looks like New York, but more green. Ha. Ha. Honestly, New York wasn't that bad, but I didn't spend enough time there for it to be terrible, and it was a long enough time ago that it wasn't as bad as it is now. Anyways, on the next episode, we're going to go further into City 1. We might even talk to Mother. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'm going to beat you over the head with a massive wrench. <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.